Okay, so friggin, uh, I hope you guys' Christmas was as good as mine. Show you a few things I got. First I got this thing. Just sort of a little organizer guy. So I set it up on the back there. Just uh, fired it up quick. Just slammed some shit up there, I beg my part. But uh, check this out. And you don't have any light outside. The light out there is decked. I don't know what's wrong with it. So the old lady picked me up this thing and it's got a friggin' video camera into it. Motion sensors, so it turns the light on and starts recording at the same time. So we'll put that at the back door. And if there's any friggin' shenanigans, we'll be able to see it. Yeah. And we'll be able to fire the grow room back up, boys. Check this out. Holy shit. That's a friggin' massive flashlight. 20 million son of a bitches. Here, I'll, I'll friggin'. It's got like an LED guy. So just the LEDs turn on and then it's got like a USB charger so you click it that way and it goes to this little USB charger guy right there and then uh, there's low beam so there's low beam and then there's high beam can't really tell too bad because it's friggin uh, got the daylight happening here but friggin it is brighter as frig 20 million son of a bitches yeah but I got a bit of a project to do uh, Got another pump here, my old pump uh, blew up there. Horn blasters guy there, whatever. So there's the new one. It's a little bit better than the old one, but uh, when I get that one out, I'll show you uh, what the problem is. Okay, so wow, I didn't expect that. The whole head's friggin' blown apart. See the gasket hanging out there. and Looks like, because uh, I already had problems with it, eh? The, uh, the connecting rod come off of the freaking cam antler so and I don't know if yeah so you can see they got one uh, one guy that's full of glue right there it's like a tamper proof sort of system but all of them were full of glue on this one but when I tightened her back up the one bolt broke so it looks like another bolt broke there or something but we'll rip her apart and see what's wrong with it well I cracked her open there and uh, I thought maybe the uh, connecting rod, because I could just hear the, the pump running, eh? but it wasn't uh, pumping. So I thought maybe the current connecting rod broke and uh, she was just flapping around in there. But after uh, looking at her, there was two, well, there was three head bolts broken all together. And uh, so there's one, one left holding her and that's a little bent. But that gasket, you can see there's a little valve on there. But that gasket that you could see it was supposed to be all up under there but this whole whole side here this whole edge along there blown out around the, the thing or whatever so I imagine if I could get the uh, the ends of the studs out of there and get some new ones I could put it all back together and a new gasket and it would probably work so I'll have to see about, uh, about that but I'm gonna have to drill some more holes in the frame you can see uh, See, she don't quite line up there, but uh, I got that fancy pants drill bit from that one dude. So the old one there is a V air, and the new one's air lift. So I don't know if, uh, yeah, I think they're both, uh, no, the old one's 150 PSI. This one's rated for 200 PSI. Uh, 1.49 CFM, this one's 1.77 CFM. So there's a little differences. Uh, they were telling me this one's a lot better of a pump though. So we'll smash her in there and uh, hammer down the 907, see how much noise we make. Yeah. Well, I decided while I was under there, I'd stick an airline chucher on the uh, on the tank. I tried to do it before with by just putting a quick connect on the tank, but it got all rusty and leaked. So I just got the hose running up up over top of the uh, son of a bitch there. Comes through hole in the box. And we got our airline pump up tires and different things. I want to get airbags on the son of a bitch, and it's a bit of an episode to wire it up to the pump and stuff. And most rigs they'll just have like two, two like air chuchers right there. So and there's psh, psh, if we need more chooch, and we're good to go. Yeah. Those friggin' drill bits I got from that one dude. Uh, who's trying to pawn off his uh, crappy Chinese stuff to me are actually pretty friggin' good. I think it was like 135 bucks or something for an 18 piece friggin kit there but I got my flashlight out there works good but I'll show you what I did there I just made a little cardboard template of uh, you know where the old uh, pump was and then I just marked it where the new pump was and 
sort of just stuck the old bolts in there for temporary purposes and, and then uh, it was like maybe 30 seconds per hole with that drill bit. I mean it's brand freaking new, only drilled through one piece of chain with it but freaking right so I might have to uh, pick me one of them up because with all these ones you can see they break real easy and there's you know all the ones you need are missing because those are the ones that you use and then you break them and then you got to go over to this next size up or down or whatever but that starts to suck after a while but so I'll get this uh, pump and everything all hooked up there and we'll see how she worked all right so I got it all hooked up there and I just uh, I had made one of these little antlers a stove piper I like to call it a stove piper and I made it to uh, so you can fill up the, the thing with an air compressor rather than uh, you know friggin around wait for the pump to uh, pump up the other air compressor didn't even turn on when I filled this all the way up so it's got 150 PSI right now doesn't appear to be leaking can't hear no leaks so we'll drain the water out of her. here watch this watch this this will be good I thought it was going to get showered. Anyways, I don't know if you can tell or not, but I need to give Big Dirty the bath. Holy shit. So I just set the camera up there and uh, let's the horns. It's been a couple days. She's working, yeah. Well, so I cracked open that uh, friggin' light there and whatnot, so it's pretty friggin' cool. You see the camera there and whatnot, different things, so I'll have to wire that up shortly here, but got her a little more situated. I mean, it's not really where everything's gonna end up, but it's good enough for now. But uh, got my, my toolbox. All friggin' organized hammers, friggin' different things down in there. My dirty mask, my screwdrivers, and my pliers. There's my air tools. There's more air tools. Nothing. All my half inch drive shit. And I got all my wrenches and my ratchets over here. More ratchets. Ratchets and things. I don't know, my three eighths and quarter inch drives. Go along with all the ones that I got. A bunch of missing spots in for frig's sake. But uh, yeah, let's go check out where we pee. So here's the friggin' bathroom. Look, you can tell and whatnot. But uh, gotta keep that pipe warm. So we got a little heater in there just on low. But uh, I don't know how good you'll be able to see it. Might need to turn on my night vision. See that pipe coming up right there? That's the new pisser. Okay, so we just flop her out and take a leak and whatnot. And nice and warm in here. It's like peeing in a tent. Yeah. So yeah, I think I seen uh, Inwood Jim out there doing some recording. So friggin' uh, make sure you check out his channel. I'll put the link in the son of a bit. Check out my mustache. Yeah, I've been trying to do this curl thing. This curl thing, I did it all Christmas. Nobody would talk to me. I think it's pretty awesome. But uh, anyways, till tomorrow. Call it the lobster sketcher.